Hi, welcome to SolidWorks 2022 video tutorial. Another of my basic part design exercises. A sweep, two ribs, a spiral and a pattern. So, let's have fun with SolidWorks. Okay, let's start with a sketch on the front plane. And that profile should look something like this. Okay, let's add a circle, maybe like that here. Let's add some dimensions. So maybe the smallest one or the biggest one. Let's go for the biggest one. That would be in this case 40. And it will rescale automatically. Now let's trim here like that and add some more dimensions. So this distance here should be 20. Let's see what happens. That's okay. That distance should be 11. And this distance should be 11 as well. And I just noticed this should be 22. Okay. And that small one should be 2.5. And that radius might be 50, 51. Let's go for 51. Great. Now I need it to constrain it to the origin. So go for the origin and that point here and make it coincident. And that sketch is fully defined. Leave that sketch. Now the next sketch should be on the top plane, so go for a sketch on the top plane. Okay, and that might look something like this here. So this one should be, of course, horizontal aligned. Let's add some dimensions. Maybe this one first. This should be 180. Now that distance should be 180. I need a fillet. Maybe 50 millimeters, that's okay. That should be right here. And the distance between that line and that center point here should be 280. Now I want to have symmetry, so let's see if we can. Yeah, there you go. Maybe like this. Make this just for construction. And make it horizontal. And then go for a symmetry. So this line and that line should be symmetric to this one. Symmetric. And this one and that one should be symmetric to this one as well. Confirm. And then put that midpoint here onto the origin coincident. So that sketch should be fully defined. And now let's go for a sweep, a swept base. Boss swept. So the profile is sketch one. 
and the path is sketch 3 in this case and confirm great now in order to close this here at the top I want to make two ribs so I could add a plane or I could do a sketch right there so let's add a plane where's the plane there you go plane should have a distance to the top plane and that distance should be 40 millimeter confirm and now put a sketch onto that top plane and that will be just a small short line maybe like this I don't want to fully constrain it but you should just add some dimensions and it should be aligned to that midpoint or to the, that origin then leave this sketch and I want to do a rip where's the rip tool there you go it should be parallel to sketch yes that's okay and it should go in only one direction so maybe like this yeah it should go in that direction that's the thickness and I want to go for 11 millimeter and let's make a preview and confirm now I want to reuse the same sketch just make it visible and again I want to use another rip let's move over here and that sketch that's the line maybe in this no it's same direction go down that's okay make a preview effect to create because that material side has to be flipped that preview is kind of awful but let's confirm and um, we've got it closed up there let's hide that sketch I need a hole and a spiral so where to get a spiral here we can go for a helix and a spiral but therefore I think I need some sort of reference point so let's make a sketch maybe on this one or I could add a point to that sketch 4 no yeah. so I will do that let's edit this sketch 4 and give it a dimension so the distance from that origin point let's uh, look normal to this one then we can select this and maybe to that one that distance might be 90 okay and the length of that line might be whatever you want let's say 20 that's the advantage of a rip it extends it now I want to set the point right there so I could make a hole and maybe a spiral let's confirm this leave that sketch and let's go for our spiral therefore I need to have that sketch visible so where's my spiral there you go I want to have a spiral so I need a plane that would be the plane and I need a circle right on that point so I should convert that point here and then I can use that point for my spiral let's draw a circle maybe like that okay leave that sketch 
which gives me that spiral here and let's see pigeon revolution taper helix clockwise I want to have a spiral and seems that's the inner circle so I will have to change that circle or I will have to reverse the direction that's better I want to have four revolutions and I want to start let's take a look here but I reversed it so starting at 225 is kind of odd let's try zero and see where we will go so that's zero in that direction 90 so this should be three times 90 that would be 270 is that okay let's see to seven no that's down below so maybe it's 90 well, it's really hard to see yeah it's 90 and confirm so maybe I could change that sketch a little bit add a dimension right now it's 120 let's go for 140 and leave that sketch and see how our spiral looks there looks okay then I need a hole and I would place that hole here and then pattern it along that spiral just noticed in my other videos I did it the other way around so let's edit this one and make it counterclock no it's counterclockwise make it that's kind of odd but I reverse the direction okay see and like that okay okay let's create our hole so go for the hole wizard diameter should be six millimeter it should be a simple one yes and it should go up to next that's okay go for position select the face like that and then in order to snap it onto the point I have to first let's place that hole maybe here then go for convert entities select that curve confirm select it once more make it for construction only confirm and then put this point here onto that point no select this point and that point and now make it coincident confirm leave that sketch and now we can do our pattern a curve driven pattern so the direction would be this curve here equal spacing yes transform curve yes tangent to curve yes I want to have 80 instances yes and I want to pattern that whole feature here that whole wizard yes and reverse the direction and this looks pretty good so let's confirm and i'm done so i hope it was helpful hope you liked it if you did like it please give it a li like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel would really help you could follow all me also on facebook instagram grabcat and many more thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye